Hello everyone. So today I'm going to present the project Tilt Responsive Techniques for Digital Drawing Board. So drawing boards offer a self-stable work surface that is continuously adjustable, offering artists the freedom to ink, read, and draw with several postures. They could either use it horizontally or vertically, depending on the task they are performing. During the last decade, new type of digital displays have appeared, such as the Samsung Space Monitor, the Wacom Cintiq, and the Surface Studio that are digital self-adjustable drawing boards. Such kind of devices open a new class of techniques that could sense and respond to tilt adjustments, allowing closer engagement with the content. Looking at how people use their digital drawing display, a vertical monitor affords reading a document, but not writing on it with a stylus. It allows also reviewing a document, showing it to colleagues, or to present refined ideas to others. Instead, angle drafting tables allow close engagement with the content, allowing to mark up content, jot down annotation, or inking using the stylus. And none of those devices offer a user experience that sent and responds to shifted display angles. So it's a lost opportunity to appropriately respond to the context of use, but as well to provide several UI based on the context of use. So to address this problem and explore a range of scenarios in the Surface Studio, we sense display postures and the continuous transition in between with a tilt sensor plugin. To accomplish that, we stream data from an accelerometer to sense tilt motion at the back of the surface. Our application is designed in three layers. The first one, the display content. The second one, to display ink. And the last one, to capture the input from user. And through our app scenarios, we show how a variety of knowledge work scenarios can use sense display adjustment to drive context appropriate transitions. We prototyped and partially implemented several of our user experiences by playing back video files interactively, proportional to tilt. The current angle indicates which frame of the video to display, allowing interactive non-sequential access, forward or backward, as the user adjusts the display. We found this as a powerful prototyping tool, because any quick screen recording or video mockup could be used to quickly try out ideas. You could see those prototypes where user could annotate a video or annotate an EEG. We have designed a range of scenarios to summarize the role of display orientation, input modalities, and interaction techniques. Our goals through those scenarios is to explore both continuous and discrete mappings of sense tilt for self-stable and adjustable digital drawing board. We also wanted to probe how tilt adjustment could respond to a range of use cases that people might encounter on a day-to-day -day basis. The resulting experiences demonstrate a variety of roles that orientation can play, as well as how input modalities might change their behavior with display angle. Our prototype launches to a lock screen, displaying notification and from where users can log in into the session. Then, as the screen reaches a low angle, this reveals detailed private information, such as notifications. The map application used Tilt to control a perspective view of a city. At vertical, the screen shows the skyline, as if looking through the screen onto a miniature cityscape. As the user tilts down, the view of the city rotates until reaching an overhead view. So this experience, as well, demonstrates our use of the transfer function to transition between low and vertical position. In another example, we explore the duality between messy, tidy, and private public while feeling sticky notes. While in the low angle posture, the user can jot down notes on orange stickies which can be left lying around the screen like a messy desk. If a boss or coworker comes in, you can angle the display vertical to automatically tidy his annotation and hide personal information. Our Teleconf app explores a solution that uses a display tilt to transition between person space and task space. When vertical, the display emphasizes person space. 
Tilting down, then transition to task space where the user can mark up a shared document or whiteboard. Participants made many positive comments about disabling the camera when tilted or horizontal. They also articulated the benefit of focusing the remote audience on the content. The document app supports fluid transitions between the reading versus writing tasks typical of active reading. Users can read and edit text with the display in vertical orientation. Tilting down, then let them unwrite or annotate with ink directly on their document from a convenient display posture. Participants perceive tilting as less effortful to automatically call out comments and recognize handwritten ink as text versus navigating the many UI comments and options typical of current practice in productivity apps. The presentation app provides an example where the intended use of the software, authoring or presenting, can shift with the display orientation. At low angle, when authoring, the user can employ the pen to mark private notes or mark correction directly on the slide. These marks disappear when the screen angles up for presenting and the slide expands to fill the display. A swipe gesture flips through the slides via direct touch. The pen also changes role, acting as a spotlight to call out details or otherwise direct a colleague's attention to a particular portion of the slide. The user can point the pen in different directions to cast the spotlight on the desired area of screen, proportional to the pen tip's angle and pressure. We also implemented the tilt side channel toolbar to solve key issues of surfacing cross application functionality associated with tilt, even though tilting has application specific mappings. This tilt side channel appears as icon along the side of the screen, suitable for thumb interaction. The side channel commands include clutching to free the content, as well as invoking a general purpose annotation layer. Considered as an input device, a tilt sensor returns an absolute angle, in this case between 0 and 90 degrees. Many of our techniques respond to transitions in this absolute value, such as moving from low angle to vertical posture. But for stable continuous response, small tilt motion must allow for precise control. In order to stabilize the tilt motion, we implemented a transfer function that supports both relative motion for fine adjustments and absolute motion to maintain a direct mapping between orientation and the semantic of a sense context. We divide the motor space of changes in tilt into A, B, and C regions, which apply a dead band, a relative control, and absolute control. Within a region A, close to this center, a dead band is applied, so the resulting virtual angle used by application does not change. As the screen tilts into region B, a proportional gain yields enhanced control. But if the screen tilts further away into region C, the virtual tilt angle recenters by jumping to the absolute tilt angle. Here is an example of how works our tilt function. We can see in blue the signal smooth and the red the raw signal. By dividing the motor space into three regions, we can remove jittering and shaking, allowing precise control. We conducted a remote survey of 12 people who currently own a Microsoft Surface Studio, self-selected by a recruitment message sent to a mailing list to designers. The survey focused on prevalence and context of screen angle adjustment. 58% reported that they adjust their screen daily or more frequently, 17 reported occasionally, and 25 rarely. Only 0% responded never. We then recruited five of these participants. They were selected to give us a diverse sample based on their survey responses for an in-depth interview. The purpose of those in-depth interviews was to gather impression and feedback. Participants designated our document and teleconf apps as the most compelling experiences. Both of these scenarios evoke situations where users would already implicitly adjust the screen angle typically driven by the use of the pen to mark up content. 
our reading versus writing transition, offer a better writing angle and more space for handwritten annotation, but also implicitly leverages the tilt adjustment necessary for pen use. Participants also mention difficulties with current telework user interfaces to find whiteboards and document sharing during video calls. This suggests that when the UI responds appropriately, implicit use of tilt can also lower the perceived effort to access certain program functionalities. These techniques inhibit the continuum between explicit foreground interaction driven by the user intentional tilt motion versus implicit background sensing techniques that automatically adapt interface behavior in situations where the user needs to adjust the display angle anyway. Hence, the most successful technique strike a balance between the effort required to adjust display tilt versus the potential benefits resulting from the transition. We received mixed responses to our large screen app experiences. Responses were only positive if the experience dove detail with the user existing practices. For example, for people who typically put the screen vertical to unlock the screen, the lock screen did not suit their needs. The authoring versus presenting transition and the change in the role of the pen elicited positive reactions from participants who sometimes present to other people using their studio. However, for a user who never makes such informal presentation in the office, automatically switching to presentation mode when tilting vertical would not be useful. A number of our experiences, including the maps and the live photo apps, required explicit tilting. Here, tilt input act as a continuous intentional control. These experiences contrast sharply with implicit tilting, where screen adjustment serves some other human central task or ergonomic needs. It was difficult to remotely assess these explicit use of tilt because participants could only watch, not actually engage on those demos. Our work leverages digital drawing boards with one degree of freedom, continuously adjustable, safe, stable displays. However, other type of display that can be relating using a three degrees of freedom should be considered as well. Our techniques make the pragmatic choice to sense only the tilt of the display, but what about the people around it? To support richer notion of public-private, solo collaborative, and various nuances in between, we would need to sense the present and proximic relationship of person nearby. Taken together, our work contributes an exploration of tilt-responsive application scenarios and interaction technique for continuously adjustable, safe-stable, painter digital drawing board. Our techniques demonstrate both discrete and continuous responses to changes in display angle. Thanks for your attention.